Hello, this is Jason Ledbetter with the Sunfrog Academy, and in this video, you're going to learn about ad placements. Now, you have different placement options to promote your products via Facebook Ads Manager. Different placements will give you different results. It's important to know which placements are the best for you to promote. Depending on the type of ad you want to run and the design of the creative, you may have these different options of placements, such as the desktop right column, the desktop news feed, the mobile news feed, Instagram feed, and audience network. And don't worry, we're going to go over all these placements right here over the shoulder. Now, it's important to use a combination of ad placements when developing your end goal strategy. Smart use of them can help you reach more people, get lower conversions, and scale your return on investment over time. So let's go over the shoulder to Facebook Ads Manager and I'm going to show you these different placement options. Okay, now we're at the Facebook Ads Manager and we're at Placements. And here at Placements, you're going to see Automatic Placements. Your ads will be shown to people, to your audience, in the places they are likely to perform the best. And Edit Placements. Removing placements may reduce the number of people you reach and may make it less likely that you'll meet your goals. So if you read these two descriptions, you automatically think, well, automatic placements is the way to go. And although that does sound the best, typically if you go with automatic placements, Facebook's going to put your ad on the mobile news feed. So all your traffic's going to go to the mobile news feed. So I still recommend to click edit placements. This just gives you control over what placements you want your advertisements to run on. Okay, so now you'll see a few different options. So under device type, we have all devices. However, we could target only mobile newsfeed only, or we could target only desktop newsfeed only. Now, you'll notice when we target desktop, that eliminates audience network and Instagram because these platforms are only available on mobile devices. So desktop only is just for Facebook. And if you look over here to placement, you see that it's the Facebook feeds. So that's going to be your desktop news feed in your desktop right column. And don't worry, in a second I'll show you examples of Facebook news feed ads and Facebook right column ads. So those are the available platform options when you want to target desktop users only. If you want to target mobile users only, that now opens up the audience network, Instagram, and it opens up the Facebook mobile news feed. Now you can see mobile enabled and desktop disabled. So with mobile only, you get the Facebook mobile news feed. Now you can also run Instagram and audience network, or you can run all devices. And say I want to do all devices, but maybe I do not want to advertise on Instagram, I can just uncheck that. Or if I don't want to advertise on audience network, I can just uncheck that. And now I'm running all devices, which means mobile and desktop on Facebook. Or I can run mobile and desktop on Facebook. And I can also run the mobile that's available on Audience Network. So those are the different placement types. Now to dig a little deeper even on mobile is you can actually go after certain mobile devices. So now we're doing all mobile or we can do Android only or IS only or even featured phones only which is our older model phones. So let's say that we want to target iOS only which is Apple. Now we can target iPads, iPods or iPhones. So now we're on Facebook desktop news feed and audience network. And the mobile users on the audience network and the mobile users on the Facebook platform are only going to be on iPads, iPods, or iPhones. Let's say that we only wanted to target iPhone users. Then we can remove all these other ones. Or let's say that we even wanted to target just iPhone 6 users. Then we have the ability to do that as well. So as you start to run advertisements on Facebook, you will start to notice that certain platforms convert at a better price than other platforms. So as you start to run ads, you can look through your reports. And we do have a reports training video. It's an excellent video here on the Academy that shows you how to run your different reports and see all those different matrix. But let's say that you realize that iPhone 6 is just crushing it. You're doing so much better and converting at such a lower cost for iPhone 6. Then maybe you'll come in here and you'll only want to target iPhone 6 users. 
or maybe you'll notice that mobile only is converting better than desktop so maybe you'll come in here and you'll just run mobile only or vice versa maybe desktop is doing better than mobile right then you can come in here and target desktop only so that's why it's good to choose your own platforms because as you start running more and more ads you will start to understand which one of these platforms and placements are working the best for you maybe Facebook desktops converting better maybe the audience networks converting better okay so for now I'm gonna choose all devices and I wanna choose all mobile because I wanna show you the different options whenever we're creating the ad I wanna show you some examples of these placements so I have my photography lovers page and I just came over to Sunfrog and searched for photography and I found this really awesome photography shirt so I'll just grab the URL and that's gonna pull through my t-shirt now this video is only about ad placement however we do have other videos that show you all the steps in creating ads that can convert but I recommend to go check out the other training videos here at the Academy that will show you how to create the perfect ad so right now I want to show you how to check the placements so here you can see desktop news feed this is showing you an example of the desktop news feed and if I click to the right this is going to show me an example of the mobile news feed or the featured phone or the instant article or the desktop right column or the Instagram feed or the audience network banner and so on so you can kind of get an idea of exactly what your ads gonna look like here in the ad preview based on the placements that you pick and once you pick your placement you can just continue creating your ad so here are a few examples when to use each placement type and we went over the desktop news feed and your ad appears in the desktop news feed for people accessing Facebook through their laptops or desktops now this place has the most real estate it's the biggest ad from all the placements and this is a great ad for retargeting your mobile feed traffic mobile mobile feed this option allows you to show your ad in the news feed for people who are on Facebook using a mobile app or a mobile device such as a smartphone or tablet this feed typically gets the most traffic desktop right column this ad appears on the desktop in the right column now keep in mind that that's only on desktop because there is no right column on mobile on mobile you only have the mobile news feed up here now the desktop right column is great for retargeting ads and it's also great for brand awareness because you get a ton of impressions on the right column you'll get a lot more impressions on the right column than you do in the desktop news feed the Instagram feed is pretty self-explanatory if you want to place your ads on Instagram you would choose this ad type and this could be very good if your audience is on Instagram or the market niche that you're targeting hang out a lot on Instagram but just know Instagram is only for mobile and then you have the audience network so your ad appears on apps and websites in the audience network you see Facebook audience network is a network of mobile apps and websites that Facebook has approved to show ads so if you want your ads to show up on other popular websites and blogs throughout the internet you can pick audience network now keep in mind that right now audience network is only for mobile users as well so in this video you have learned all about ad placements and the different types of ad placements that are available to you